Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your 1.1.3 iPod Touch using the iPhone. And it's really, really simple. All you got to do is first get on uh, a regular 1.1.3 iPod. And if you're not on that, if you're on 1.1.4 or 1.1.1 or 2, I'll give you a link in my description to be to restore back to 1.1.3. And all you got to do to restore back to that is hold shift and then look for your file and then select that file. If you don't know how to do that, just do some research and you'll easily find out how to do that. Or you can go to my forms and I'll help you there. Well, now we're just going to start now. And there's going to be a second link in my description that says... Well, it'll be a description. It'll say the iPhone, and you want to install that. And then there's going to be a zip file. Then you're going to want to just click that, and then pull it onto your desktop. Just to load. And that's going to be right there. And you're just going to want to click that. And there's going to be a lot of these little files, and you want to click the orange one that looks like an iPod. It says Z iPhone GUI. Click that, and click Jailbreak and Verbose Boot, and then quotation will say Debug. And then you're going to click Start, and then your iPod will do this. Give it a second. That will happen. Then that will happen. And then it goes into diagnostic mode, and don't worry if that looks intimidating, because I know it does, and don't worry, just let that go. It takes less than a minute from when you start doing this. And this is basically just jailbreaking your iPod, but showing you what it's doing, and that's what the verbose boot is. And this is going to do that. And remember, you're going to have to install it first before you go into recovery mode. And there is the installer right there. And now I'm going to get the wiggly feature, which is really, really easy. Just let the sources You want to go to Sources, Edit, Add. And thanks to the iPod Touch Master, we can get this for free. So you want to type in iPod Touch Master dot com backslash files backslash repo dot xml. And if you notice your keyboard always freezes and you're forced to restart your iPod, I would highly recommend you to redo this method because if you don't, you're always going to be restarting your iPod, which probably isn't good for it. So just restore it right away and just do it again and it shouldn't have a problem. And just wait for this to reload. Shouldn't take too long. And while that's loading, if you haven't already gone to my forums, go to that. So far I only have 36 members, but I'm hoping I'll get a lot more. Uh, yeah, 36. So if you ever need to go to that, please go to that. And that's still not loading for some reason. Well, I'm almost running out of uh, time to camera, so basically you slip that load and then install his wiggly feature. And then there you go, you got your wiggly feature. See you guys.